After a decade of having a very hostile government. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't be scared. Treasurer. It's coal. What we have now is a real opportunity to increase the ambition of the national plan and replacing that with renewable solutions. IFA's work is so important because what we're showing is that the business as usual way is more risky and that there is an alternative way that is more financially sound. At the moment we have 35% renewables in the grid and we need to get to 82% by 2030, that's the federal government target. So at IEFA Australia, our work is very important because it makes the financial case for change. It shows why we want to be moving to this renewable dominated electricity system and the benefits associated with that. We then inform governments, energy industry representatives, think tanks, other researchers, and we help them to understand what are the benefits of moving to a renewables dominated system and what are some of the challenges. Our work is, is holding them to account. So when it comes to steel decarbonisation, there's two key technologies being put forward. Uh, the first is carbon capture and storage, CCS, uh, which basically would allow uh, steel makers to continue business as usual, which is why they're interested in it. The other is called direct reduced iron based technology or DRI. It's a non-coal based technology, currently based on uh, natural gas, but can be based on uh, green hydrogen going forward. What we're seeing already is that DRI is leaving CCS behind. Technology transitions always happen faster than people expect, and that's going to be creating uh, challenges, risks, but also opportunities for companies in the steel sector that they need to be better aware of. Carbon capture and storage is not a solution. So what the, the gas companies are proposing is saying, look, uh, okay, the, we've got emissions here, but we've got CCS. Uh, we'll be able to vary these emissions. But really, it only captures a small proportion of the total emissions from each gas project. It doesn't even go anywhere near the 90% uh, the, the of the emissions that, that are pumped up into the atmosphere. What we've shown at IEFA and what we're arguing for is that there is a, a better financial alternative. This is a time when the energy transition needs to accelerate tremendously. Renewable energy solutions um, have seen cost decreases so dramatic that now we can really touch with our hands, you know, a renewable future. I know that AIFA is playing an important role because campaigners, government, financiers, the media are already using our information. And what we want to do is to increase our impact. We are 100% philanthropically funded and this not only allows us to do our work but also gives us the independence that is so critical for our credibility. Mm -hmm.